The ghost of the misfit class perhaps got more screen time in the previous episode than the previous two seasons entirely. Maybe I'm wrong, but I noticed him a lot more. And I'm not crazy, right? You guys saw him in the dark corner where everybody was talking about their trauma with the new tutors, right? I'm not crazy, right? Are they actually setting him up? Apparently, he's gonna be not really important in this season, but maybe in season four. So fucking three seasons of prep for him to do something in season four. That's a mind-blowing setup, but I love writing like that. Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mice Saeed Makun. Last episode, I think we finally got Bachiko to start teaching us shit near the end, right? He basically, she basically called Edema an idiot until Sullivan had to actually do something. It's like, come on, help, <laughs> help Edema out. It seems like they have a little bit of an odd relationship. Bachiko like just fawns, fawns over Sullivan. Sullivan's got that riz, I guess. So, again, the bloodline ability of Robin and Bachiko, they're separate. So, Bachiko is the main branch. Robin is, like, the side branch. Robin can only shoot his arrow once. Bachiko can do it multiple times. Something about how demons' personalities are, um, like, how... I, I forget exactly what it was, but it's hard for demons to learn Bachiko's, like, arrow weapon attack thing because of the personality. But Iruma is different. He's going to completely, like, surprise her. And this is really reminding of, like, the spirit gun from Yu Yu Hakusho. If you've seen that anime, I mean, you already know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go watch it. Amazing shonen anime. It's basically like a handgun. And he only has, like, I think... I forget how many times he can shoot it, but there's, like, a limit. I wonder Iruma will also have a limit or it's just going to be just, like, a thing you can spam. It seems like this is one of our first power-ups after getting the ring and being able to do Pandarula with Libera, right? So... We're getting more shonen elements, and we're building up to some kind of really hype thing, and I guess that thing is going to be the Harvest Arc, so I'm really excited. Let's watch today's episode. That's right. All, like, um, and, and three of them are, like, the great heroes of some war in the past, I think. I forgot the lore. Just because they're suffering doesn't mean it's a bad thing. In fact, they're just pushing them <laughs> for better progress. A little bit mean, yeah. She likes the sadistic part of Kalego, yeah? That I kind of believe. That actually I kind of believe, yeah. Dignified, I'm not sure about that. Also, I just realized Bachiko's uh, hairpin. They're literally like the ends of an arrow, right? Oh? Oh, shit, I forgot about him. I forgot about this. This is the guy that was responsible for the Dainty Amity arc. Oh? He's just making the figurines. This guy is such a degenerate, but he's very... uh. He acknowledges his ambitions, and he's and he's very, you know... He, he makes configurings, man. Might be a little bit creepy, but he puts in the work. The bow's core, but I think it has to do with Ali. Like, something about the gluttonous... Feeder ring. Just because, I mean, I'm cheating because I've already seen the design of... The bow, or at least I think it's the bow. From the poster. Oh. You can make a bow out of anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's it gonna turn out like? <laughs> it's just an Amity! <laughs> it's not even a bow, it's just Amity, dude! Oh. Feathers. From the Guardians. Oh! From like the beginning episodes. This should be good material. Yeah. And looks pretty cool. But this isn't really the design we saw in the poster, right? <laughs> Why? Why why why'd you break it? What is it not good? What do you mean you broke it? Yeah. Copy. Something of that's gotta be based on Iruma. Like himself. He was copying her. Hmm. It's a shield. Uh, how many times are we gonna do this to fail? This, this, no, this one's a bit too much. It's a little bit too cringy offensive. <laughs> this one's a little bit cute. Something about Iruma. We're gonna run out of feathers at this rate, man. Alright, make this count. Well, on the battlefield, yeah, but that's we're not on the battlefield. Alright, whatever. This is your last chance, Iruma. Festival. Oh! 
It's a survival? Is it like Battle Royale? We're finally getting more details about the Harvest Festival, though. She wants him to give up? She always have a pocky in her mouth? The teacher here looks a bit, you know, Bachka looks uh, more enthusiastic here. Like, see, she's rooting for her. Look, 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 you'll get it next time. She, she's totally different. But I'm sure her personality changed over the years because... Why? Because she just said the faster you give up, the better. What happens to people that don't give up? Maybe they just could never achieve their dreams and she felt bad for pushing them and they could never do it. And then one day she realized that it's just not worth it. Oh. Uh, well, it's not bad. This is pretty good, right? Yeah. Yo, where is this Bachiko, man? She's like telling Inuma, I ah, just give up if you wanna. <laughs> not really, but. Damn. She's such an enthusiastic. What happened to him, though? Did he quit? What? I'm gonna quit after a thing for. And then Bachiko feels. She put in so much effort. She invested so much of her emotion and time for them to quit. And now she turned a little bit cold, right? She gets jaded. And now. None of them could do it. Oh, this is actually so sad. What the fuck? Yo, this flashback is just hitting me out of no. She's never had. That that one person who could like match her desire and effort to train them. <laughs> Iruma, that's him. No, don't give up. Also, Robin, your place is fucking loaded. God damn, that house is insane. Damn. Look at her protecting her feelings. She doesn't want to, you know... Yeah, she doesn't want to hope something again. I didn't expect this kind of... Backstory from Bachiko, man. Kind of... Gonna start crying like this teacher right now. Jesus! But Yunuma's definitely gonna meet her expectations and go beyond it. What are they training? You're just drowning them! Give them some pointers, like what are they supposed to do? Is the whole point for them to get out of this water trap or for them to just hold their breath as long as they can? The fuck? Hmm? They got out? Oh! No, they're... They did it! With their earth and their winds, family bloodline, I guess, but it's a bit different. The wind is actually forming around him rather than as a blade. And him, yeah, it's just like, he's like earthbending, right? But this is different. It looks like there's like an aura around them. Hmm. Also, no one's explained to me, what is that cloud? Like, we've all just like overlooked it. But what is that cloud? Are you ever gonna explain what the cloud is? Whatever. Oh? Wait, Kerori has tamed them all! <laughs> what? Okay. When did this happen? I mean, I guess it might match her dem doll personality, yeah? Queen Summoner? Oh, where's Pink Maestro? Is he also on the ground? <laughs> like, what is he doing? G Kami, what are you doing, dude? Oh. Oh, I didn't. Because you know he's always so lewd. This is so wholesome and nice. The, f the fuck? Yeah, what? Well, Kerori had to be in like a cell the entire time. It. Not giving up. There it is. There's that. There's that willpower. But maybe the whole point isn't for him to win. As long as like he's not giving up. Oh, he actually won. The fuck? But it, did he actually? Okay, no, 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 no. I thought he didn't go. I thought he went easy on him. I don't know how this training is gonna help Shax, but wait. <laughs> he sandbagged the entire time. 
Wait, what? <laughs> okay, the teamwork here is gonna let them beat Balam somehow. They got a hidden. Does that count? Does it? Okay, can we go home now? <laughs> they can go home. That was it? All you had to do was teamwork, and then so that you could pinpoint him down. <laughs> But I think, uh, you know how Sabro keeps saying, you know, my, my rival, like, Sabro and Azaz, they're the true rivals, in my opinion. Wait, their outfits changed. So did their hairstyle, what the fuck? Clara? Clara, what are you gonna look like now? Oh, problem, Azaz, she didn't change. Clara looks the same as usual. Huh? Wait. Where did that come from? Oh. So, you know, there's that cute charm. Yeah, no, 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 her heart went dookie for a second. So, X and Elizabeth is more about, like, super sexy, erotic. But then, Clara was, like, very cuteness. Right? Okay, I, I, I get... I, I kind of see that aspect. <laughs> no, we're not changing tutors. No, no, we can't betray Bachiko now. No, no, not after that flashback, dude. Absolutely not. I know Iruma didn't see it, but it would hurt me for, you know, Bachiko to continue to have, like, students that was not able to, like, live up to her expectations. Oh, that's gonna be such a good moment, dude. When the cold exterior of Bachiko melts away because Iruma was able to, like, you know, prove to her that someone that can match her expectations has appeared. That's gonna be so good. Okay. I love how this unintelligent thing became sentient and is now just like guiding us and coaching us in life. And he actually has some good points. Like, the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Wanna, you know, continue having great times together as friends. Well, he wants to protect him, that's the desire. Yeah. Well, like, how is that gonna manifest into a bow? Right? Okay, let's see. With the ring, though. Here we go. And Ali's somehow gonna be infused into it. The door explodes. Boom! What happens? Look at the light, Bachiko. What happens? Show me the bow! You can do it. Yes, that's what he said! Oh, that's what Robin said. That's someone... That's someone appeared! Woo! The wings! The wings! Holy shit! No, her hope is so up right now. This looks so cool! No, go back! And that's the episode. You know, I was shitting on Bachiko for a bit in the previous episodes. That's like why her personality was so crude. Like they're just making Iruma do stuff, trying to just run their patience. But it kind of makes sense with her flashback. That flashback came out of nowhere. I was like, I was getting pretty emotional. Because like her personality was completely different from what it was now, right? She was like so hopeful. She was so young and so like, don't give up. You can do this, my students. But eventually they just quit after investing so much time and effort into it. And then she felt betrayed. And then she, she just like turned her back and it was like, oh no, my poor Bachiko. But Robin promised one day that person will show up. One day someone will show up that can meet your expectations and Iruma is that person. His design, he actually has wings now, right? And I'm sure it has to do with Ali. Cause if you look at the material of the bow and the wing and everything, it does look like Ali somehow got infused with the quartz quartz and therefore is the base of it, the core, I guess. I forgot the exact mechanics of how the weapon works. But finally, we do have wings so no one can shit on us for not having wings, I guess. And that bow, man. So I thought that Edemo was gonna default onto becoming more like a support healer kind of type because of how his blood was able to act with other demons. But we never actually had that happen after healing the guardian beast. And then I, we also know that he can like pretty much dodge everything. Damn. So I guess he's gonna be like more of like long mid-range archer that can also dodge anything, huh? I mean, dodging everything would probably even work better in like melee combat, but this is the path that Iruma is kind of going towards. The ranged like attacker. He's got an arrow now. He's got a bow and this is gonna be sick. Can we like 
do Panarula on this and then somehow call Libera out with the bow, but the Libera already kind of shoots. I don't know, but the possibilities are endless. And I'm so glad that we're getting actual power ups and like we're growing together as misfits. And Harvest Festival is coming up. I can't wait for it. But hey, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube go push that my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of our favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.